Just three days to go until one of the most anticipated weddings in royal history. It happens early Friday morning our time. Prince William and Kate Middleton exchange their vows. And the excitement in London is spilling over into the streets of Victoria. A news reporter Louise Hartland takes a look at why we are so wrapped up in all things royal. It's the epicenter of excitement. The streets of London are alive with British pride, just three days before Prince William and Kate Middleton tie the knot. This man was the first to set up camp on the procession route to guarantee an unobstructed view of the world's most watched couple outside Westminster Abbey. To be actually here, of course, everybody will always remember where they are, and I'm going to remember where I was. I spent six days here. Half a world away, the festive fever is catching on. And are you going to be watching a party? Of course! Yes. And I'll get up as well. Have to. I work that day, but whatever. You have to. I mean, how often does that happen? It's fairy tale stuff. My grandmother really cares. And uh, she's all into it and it's kind of rubbed off on me. And uh, yeah, I think it'll be cool. It doesn't happen very often, so. I mean, who doesn't want to see it? It's, um, it, especially because it, I think they remind them all of Diana. But why are we so fascinated with all things royal wedding? In history, timing is everything. And if you turn on the news right now, there aren't many happy stories. Earthquakes, tsunamis, Libya, Syria. Whereas this is a feel-good story, and it's a story people feel that they can feel good about appropriately because it's a wedding. Unlike his father and mother, William's wedding symbolizes a new turn in the monarchy, bringing together two people who truly seem to be in it for the right reasons. And this comes across as a, a sort of a fairy tale, but one that looks like it actually might materialize since these two people seem to know each other, and it comes across as a love match. Despite the romanticism, some people aren't buying into it, even escaping the British capital during the fanfare. Do you feel like you're missing out being here? He definitely doesn't. No, I'm here to avoid it. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I love yeah. weddings, and I, the royal household does things really well. So um, I, I love seeing it for that. They organize things beautifully. Well, I think it's um, just a bit over the top. Yeah, lots of people get married. <laughs> it's true, lots of people do. But most of them don't get married like this. In Victoria, Louise Hartland, A News.